Okay. You must try harder from now on. Really? That's the only thing you're going to tell me? Fucking sh throw that book in your face. How's that for trying harder? All right, so we're just exploring around, talking to people. Oh, yeah, we got supports to do, actually. Hmm. With this idea, I may be able to get the one up on Edelgard. <laughs> this again. <laughs> Did you talk about Edelgard again? Hubert, I wish you would not sneak up on me like that. <laughs> Say something uh, bad about Edelgard again, I dare you. <laughs> Maybe you would be more perceptive if your mind were less burdened by sedition. Sedition? Absurd. This is an important project. Yes, I heard. A new way to prove how superior you are to Lady Edelgard. She is not your rival, Ferdinand. She is above you. <laughs> A noble like you ought to know his place. <laughs> Anything is better than being a noble like you. Every time you open your mouth, it's Lady Edelgard this Thank or Lady you. Edelgard that. Do you ever think for yourself? You follow her around like a pet. You spend all of your time fretting over her, and yet you never truly express an opinion of your own. Before you reprimand me, take a moment to consider your own failings. Uh. Your nonsense is tiresome. <laughs> yeah, that's all so you I got. This will be the last time I have to remind you. Lady Edelgard is the Imperial Princess. <laughs> and I am her number you one subscriber. Prime Minister's son. Mm. Yes, I understand that. But my duty is to guide her, to give frank advice when she is on the wrong course of action. That is what I strive to do. Thus, my devotion to surpass Edelgard. So that if she needs guidance, I will be prepared to give it. If you think it is tiresome to have a mind of your own, you will never be much of an advisor. <laughs> Does the river of filth pouring out of your mouth ever stop flowing? Your obsession with all things superficial is disgusting. <laughs> Talk it's no use. You're hopeless. I'll take my leave. You're talking about obsessions? I have nothing more to say to you. Get out of here. Holy hell, this is gonna be a hot headed fucking house. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, there's hatred everywhere. Absolute hatred. Here to train? You really are as hard working as they say. Huh, maybe the gossip's wrong. Hard working people usually don't like to make a big fuss about it. Says the woman with the fucking nickname. What the hell is her nickname? I forgot her nickname. Even within the Knights of Saros, Catherine is the strongest. By a large margin from what I've gathered. Why not seek her out as a sparring partner, Professor? I have a favor to ask. You know about the Abyss, Something huh? About this situation doesn't feel right. Why would a minor lord raise an army against a foe he cannot possibly hope to defeat? I don't know, man. Why the fuck am I streaming if I don't hope to fucking get popular? I don't know. How can we do things because we do them? I'm studying here so I can be the best there is, just like Captain Gerald. Do you think I've got it in me to be a top tier mercenary professor? Maybe if I was training you in another life. I'm going to work a lot harder than all the fancy nobles around here. I can tell you that. All right, who else do we got to talk to? Who else do I got to bother? Goodness. My central duty as a noble is to protect the common folk. I abhor those like Lord Lenato, who deliberately shatter the peace. Utterly disgraceful. You have a kind soul, Professor. Now I feel a little sheepish for showing anger and not empathy. Why'd they make the running so dumb like that? that that's always... Hello. Right. I've heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They whispers say he's or a whiskers? Very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor. You were working late last night, weren't you? 
You shouldn't overdo it. How do you know? A are ghost you, are you might up from the well to get you if you stay up too late. Or so I'm told. Damn it, Mercedes. You're such a treasure. Uh, I what's the quest? To, ask of you. to be honest, I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. At a loss for what to do. Thankfully, a sweet young girl reached out and offered her help. I believe she said it's little sister. Yeah, don't talk to her. Ugh. So strike you when you least expect it. Professor, about this month's assignment, though it looks like we won't be fighting, it's still quite unsettling. My understanding is that it will all be subdued rather quickly. Yeah, I'm not. Like I said, I'm not going to talk to everybody. For the sole fact that I, most of the dialogue I've already gone through. What? I desired fresh air. Hmm. I have a favor to ask. This guy is so weird. <laughs> Bring some reinforcements along. I might give you the advantage in battle. Pointing a sword at the Holy Church of Seros is akin to pointing a sword at the goddess herself. Meeting out appropriate punishment to the sinful. It is a sacred duty with which we have been entrusted. We will burn them to a crisp. As a member of the church yourself, I hope that you will take that to heart. I just got here. Is she still looking at me? No, she's not. Okay. Yeah, if you turn if you turn your sword against the church, she will. Hey. By God, she will rain a firestorm upon you. Blast. Out of my way! What's this? Please don't tell me Tanaman. Did you hear? There's news of someone in the kingdom raising an army. The kingdom, the empire, the alliance. They do love a good war, don't they? Spilling the blood of young men and women. And for what? Just to enjoy the horror of it? It's just it's mostly just leaders being egotistical. Yada yada yada. Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? Would you be so kind as to do me a favor? I simply must thank you, Professor. She gave me carrots and cabbage. All right. Did you hear? Oh, no, not. I'm not talking to Hanneman. Nope. Hey, you. I hate it when somebody says that to me. The Castle Gaspar, eh? I've been there once before. Fucking, I remember a girl used ago. to say that to me. Uh, I hate it when stuff like that sticks. Like, I wish I could just, like, get a toothbrush and just, like, scrub my brain and just forget certain stupid things that I just remember. It was by request of the son of that family. Kristoff, I think it was. I have a request. Don't I, don't I have that? Castle Gaspar. Probably back in his room. You dumb goof. It is. <laughs> it's right by his room. I see a little gold circle. Really? Alright, not by his room, but like close to it. Hey. Wooden flask. What do you put in this flask, Gerald? Well. Water. Or gin. Thanks for your help. He gave me a fluffy bear. Oh my god. What the hell? Who are you giving that to? Teacher. Oh god. Ferdinand. Would you like to speak to Ferdinand? God, don't Hello, show me professor. your, your May thing. I speak with you? I would like to compare. <laughs> no. You seem to hold Edelgard in high esteem. 
That is my impression, at least. Of course. She's the princess to the Adrestian Empire. Hmm. She is... Very calm and collected. No doubt about that. Very skilled. Very smart. And her second-in-command is Hubert. What is your opinion of me? I am quite talented, too, am I not? Be honest. Do not hold back. Pretend that I am just a regular person, not this scion of a noble house. I mean, he won't grow if I tell him he's evenly matched. At least this way he'll be like, shit, that means I have to make some improvements. Or he'll complain. Which I don't care. You think she is better than me? <laughs> I was just being modest before. Honestly, I have always prided myself on being superior to Edelgard. But You're close. evidently that is not your perspective. I suppose there is only one thing to do. I must demonstrate my excellence. Precisely. You cannot stop me. I will prove that you have drastically underestimated me. You think I could ignore such a slight upon my honor? Not likely. Come, Professor. What have I done? We will begin with battle. Edelgard's skills in combat are no match for mine. I heard that just the other day, she defeated a demonic beast without assistance. Well, anything Edelgard can do, I can do better. And in half the time. And blindfolded. Professor, you what? can be my eyewitness and timekeeper. Here we go. D you're, you're a kid. Two at once? That's... Well, it will be fine. <laughs> I can't do it. Seems you have saved my life. I thank you, Professor. That's how it ends. <laughs> I save his life, and that's how it ends. That's funny. All right. Well, that's a little bit of humble, uh, humble pie for you. That's what I like to call it. Hey. Professor. Nothing like putting somebody in check. Have a moment, I would like a word. It has been brought to my attention that certain individuals have been making advances toward flame. You wouldn't happen to know anything about that, would you? If you do see anyone getting too close with flame, please inform me of it at once. I will have them removed from this, from this monastery, in pieces. Sure thing, Seth. Jesus Christ, bro. Ah, today's meal was delicious. Linhart keeps bothering me about eating too fast. Says I'm gonna choke or something. Absolutely. I knew you'd see things my way. Professor. I feel I must speak to you about Kaspar's eating habits. I've never seen the like of it. He inhales entire plates of food in mere seconds. Sounds like me. Hence my mentioning it to you. Good luck with him. All right, I don't know about inhaling. That sounds a little much. After Fargus lost its king, there were many rebellions. It is likely that Lord Lenato's provocations are related. How frustrating that I am too young to take the throne. Rendered powerless by age. If the throne is vacant much longer, the kingdom will fall to ruin. Hey, best be on your guard. 
Good day to you. Fucking weirdo. Best be on your guard. Bear gifts. <laughs> no, not for you. You're already in my class. I don't have to do anything. Hey, professor. Oh, hey. Kingdom of sorcery. I feel like that's either a net or Mercedes. Hey, Say I'm surprised about Lord Lenato launching a rebellion. Don't you know him? The writing was on the wall. If anything, it's more surprising it didn't happen sooner. Lord Lenato answers to Count Roe of Fargus, the man who adopted me. That's how I got into the academy. I'm not in contact with the Count anymore, but that's how I know so much. Gaspar territory smacks of war. It'll be interesting to see how things shake out. Hey, pal. Haven't seen any suspicious types on the surface lately, have you? Beefy, mean-looking folks. <laughs> they have the IRS shirts uh, on them. Beautiful. Guess those lowlifes haven't tracked me down yet. Bounty hunters are the worst, yeah? They can't just let me be, so I have to go through the trouble of roughing them up. How about you change your look? You're very, uh, distinct. Nope. Someone's raising an army in the kingdom, I heard. Normally, I wouldn't care about that kind of thing. But this army's picking a fight with the church. So as far as I'm concerned, more power to him. Hate's a strong word. I'm just saying, they might have a good reason to rebel. Rhea and her lackeys like to pretend they're always in the right, but they're not. No one is. God damn it, I love you, Happy. You have such a fucking blunt way of thinking. You're so blunt. Ah, uh, but should I recruit her? I don't know. Is it the call? Professor, do you have some need of me? I assure you, I am busier than I may seem. <laughs> you would argue the point? Do you claim to have a view inside my mind? Yes, considering we were once, uh. <clears throat> Engaged. I warn you that I don't suffer fools. I'm doing strenuous mental exercises. My magical theories require rigorous fine tuning. Exactly. I shall... Whoops. Shit, I pressed A by accident. I have a small request. Why do you want to know about the roster? But. Oh, have you come to beg my assistance? Then rejoice, for you have the aid of a new bell. You did come seeking my aid, yes. Hopefully with something befitting my station. You're only joining so I can get two, uh, two or three supports. Uh, uh, An assignment for the Officer's Academy? How splendid. I was a former attendee there myself, you know. I shall be a model of grace in my duties. Oh, it's a good thing the Ashen Wolves don't need persuading to uh, join. To join. Well, the only way to access this place anyway is to beat the side story. So, I guess that's, that's a fair trade-off. Rhea and her lackeys like to pretend they're always in the right, but they're not. No one is. What? You want to know if I can help out? I've got time, but I don't want to spend it all serving the church. Don't make that face. 
Fine, fine. I'll back you up. Face was I making? Yeah, sure thing. You know, I've never really had a teacher before. And it'll be my first time at the Officer's Academy. Sounds like fun. Yeah, I don't get used to it. All right, I'm out. Hmm. Gonna use them significantly less than the last run, but nonetheless. Yeah, we'll get a couple from the other. I'll try to get a couple from the other classes. Uh, oh yeah, supports. Let's get some supports out of the way. Can't can't do this one just yet. Apparently, Hubert and Edelgard, huh? Let's see what these kids uh, these kids have to talk about. Sometimes I wonder if your life could have taken you down a different path. If you had never met me and entered my service, you might have had a more peaceful, a more tedious path, inconsequential and spoiled rotten like so many other nobles. Never. My duty to you is no mere obligation. I chose this. I chose the simple life. Be obvious to you. I understand you well, better than anyone. But when I see you at the monastery, studying with the others, it makes me wonder what kind of life you might have had without me. That's all. Such a life may have had its appeal. I thought I'd left my years of carefree innocence behind me. But I cannot deny that I find myself enjoying my time at the monastery. I feel the same way. That enjoyment, however, is only thanks to you. Standing by your side is all that truly matters to me. I see. Then I won't speak of such things again. If it's really what you want, I'll gladly keep you by my side. The path I must walk is soaked in blood. It's a path that can lead to madness can snatch away one's future and can even take one's life and the pool of blood at my feet is growing larger those stains can never be washed clean please leave the violence to me a leader must be seen as pure above the fray allow me to paint the path that lies before you red with the blood of your enemies i will do it gladly let me simp for you edelgard I need someone to simp for. Yeah. That is 100% foreshadowing. Considering you can never... You can only get this uh, support if you're actually in the Black Eagle's house. Because... Uh, when you go check the other houses, you can't get supports from the other house leaders. So from... There's zero chance of me actually getting any supports with Claude or Claude with another student in the, if I choose another house that's not the Golden Deer. So I, I never get Dimitri or uh, Claude uh, supports anymore just because I chose uh, Edelgard. So the only way to get that support would be picking this route. So it's kind of like foreshadowing, I guess. Uh, easy there, buddy. I am Caspar! Ah! Uh, yeah, he's just... It's just the puberty hitting him. <laughs> What's going on, Hubert? You need something? <laughs> Were you watching him? I watched you training earlier. Pitiful display. Uh, excuse me? What's that supposed to mean? You yell before every move. I know. I do it on purpose. It's how I get fired up. Is that a problem for you? You scared? Stupid habit. If you value your life, you'll break it. What are you talking about? It sounds like you might have a problem with me. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> oh, if it was only your own idiotic life at stake, I wouldn't bother saying anything. But it's not. Your foolishness hurts everyone. Oh, you sure do love to hear yourself talk. Suppose you were to shout on the battlefield as you did in your training today. It is very likely the enemy could anticipate your next move based on your insipid blather. And what if your allies are startled by your outburst and fumble with their weapons as a result? This is not to mention the obvious fact that you would utterly botch any covert operation. You really think I'm that stupid? 
I only shout when it's completely necessary. I don't do it all the time. Whatever habits you develop in training, you will reproduce on the battlefield. Combat is tense and frantic. To be fair, yelling or screaming or grunting does help you get that extra rep out. Something about the releasing the diaphragm or something like that it gets you to get an extra couple reps in every time you yell. You will default to your training whether you mean to or not. But I'm not gonna. I wouldn't yell when I, if I was in a fight. Hey, why don't you just shut up about it? I can control myself. This is quite a quite a. I thought I seriously thought the golden deer were a bunch of rascals. This is. <laughs> this is like a dysfunctional family. <laughs> ah, Dorothea. The dining hall seems so much brighter with you here. Thirty. I must say, you are quite adept with flattery. Please, give me some more. Wow. Flattery? No, I was not... Ugh. There you go with that attitude again. Why do you reserve such cold treatment for me and me alone? Do you hate me, Dorothea? Or have you some other reason to avoid my company? I underestimated you. I assumed your noble upbringing had dulled your perception. But you got it right on your first try. I hate you. Huh, <laughs> I was right. I think she's putting a front here. Might I ask why you find me so despicable? I can scarcely guess. Don't waste another minute thinking about it. That will not do. I do not think you would hate a person for no reason. Hmm, perhaps. How's this? If you can guess why, I'll let you know if you're right. The brains of us common folk are so simple. It Give it should away. Be pretty easy for a big shot noble to sort out. <sighs> Very well. I cannot walk away from a challenge. I have no choice but to chance a guess. You are always making fun, calling me a big shot and so forth. Perhaps you think all nobles are... No, it cannot be that simple. Oh? <laughs> what can't be that simple? Uh, please, will you not give me a clue? Well, let me see. A good clue? I know. It's because you're like a bee. That ought to be enough of a clue. A bee? So long, 30. A bee? I haven't the slightest... Perhaps because I am such a diligent worker? <laughs> oh no, I get it. I get it. <laughs> He's a bee to Edelgard's queen bee. How did they even get together? Cool. Yeah, this this makes this makes Claude's house look like a fucking like a fucking like uh, I don't know, like well-behaved little first graders. I don't know. These kids are worse. Oh, Claude's here. Speaking of the devil. Hey, Teach, there's some minor noble rebelling in Fargus, right? He has no chance of winning. I wonder what he hopes to achieve. Huh? Are you going along to help? Sounds like an easy victory, but good luck out there. Thanks. Thanks, friend. Remember, you called me that once? Or twice? It's pointless. It's pointless to ask him. He'll never know. I'm sorry, but I must vent to someone, Professor. You're familiar with Manuela's slovenly behavior, yes? Yeah. That woman! She borrowed a book last week and returned it with stains of unknown origin on the cover and several pages either folded or torn. Just now, she dropped a sandwich on the floor, picked it up, and kept eating. When she saw my shock, she said simply, three-second rule. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing funnier than... <laughs> There's nothing funnier than voice actors. <laughs> Mocking another character. Three second rule. That's disgusting. Manuela, something else. I've 
heard whispers about Lord Lenato. They say he's a very kind and gentle lord. Why would such a kind man suddenly raise an army? Oh, Professor, you were working late last night. I already read that. Oh, you want me to join your class? Hmm, well, I'm already having so much fun in my current class. Sorry to disappoint, but I'll have to decline. Hmm. Magic stat and bow? That's so random. To be honest, I felt a bit lost here at the monastery. Huh? You think I would be a good fit for your class? Mm, I'm not sure. There's still a lot I want to learn from my current class. Sorry to disappoint. Magic and faith. Ah, alright, that's that's doable. Birthday. Enlightening. Smash. I, I learned a thing or two. She got Banshee already? Fucking hell, man. Question for you. Such interesting ideas you have you seem to have, Professor. But tell me this. Would you do what would you do if you were given the task of teaching a subject that you yourself did not understand? Such as Edelgard's hobbies and interests. Because I'll teach that class. I know everything about her. Let me teach. Understand. Chatterbox. Hey. You know what a Valkyrie is? They're magic wielders who ride horses. Yes, I know. Yes. New Merrick's birthday. Uh -huh, uh -huh. You got a gift from Edelgard. Our professor is certainly adventurous, but I wonder what the point was. Oh, I should have changed them. The same what? You think teaming up with me is a bad idea? Yes. Results or no result. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping we would do better. It's a decent result for two people who don't get along terribly well. I won't forget all I've learned. Tom Splitter, nice. Enlightening. It's starting to take shape. Fire. Okay, that's fine. Let's put this to the test. Hope this is good for something. Oh, God, I was I learning shit. Now. Towards the end of the game, you don't learn shit. Mastery is within my grasp. <laughs> Do I really need to? The beginning of the game, I really don't need to. Oh, I got supports. All right, we'll figure it. We'll check it out. Thanks so much for the help. We should be able to manage on our own from here. I'm glad to be of use. If there's anything else you need, come find me anytime. Well, well. You seem to be pretty chummy with the knights. Chummy? I suppose. Really, I was just helping out with some equipment repairs. For an assignment or something? No. It just looked like they could use a hand, so I lent one. To me, it looked like they were using you for some unpaid labor. Unpaid labor? <laughs> I helped them because I wanted to, Happy. I wasn't expecting to be paid. It's like when you help us with our assignments. We don't pay you for that, do we? Like I have a choice. Can I give you some advice, Freckles? Don't support the knights, the church, any of them. All you'll get in return is a knife in the back. Isn't that a little dramatic? You really don't need to worry about that with most people. You're naive. Those two-faced buffoons exasperate me so much I can hardly help but... Sigh. Oh, uh, hey! <laughs> that reminds me of a great story. You have to hear this one. It's called, um... Oh, the Luna Knight's Tale. Yeah, I, I think you'll love this. On second thought, maybe a story about a knight isn't what you want to hear right now. You know, 
The knights in stories aren't like the ones in real life. Unless the Luna Knight is a liar who does terrible things. No, uh, of course not. The Luna Knight is the hero of the story. Damn it, Ash, you're so pure. She's from an offshoot of House Blathit. Marries into House Regan after the Crescent Moon War. In peacetime, she sets aside her weapons and devotes herself to giving wise counsel to her husband. In this role, she ensures that the dishonest and unfaithful are dealt with accordingly. Is that connected to Claude? No, 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 no. I don't think so. Huh. She sounds like a real hero. Very much so, yes. The tale is full of fascinating details about... Ash, sorry to interrupt, but if you're not too busy, we could really use your help right now. <laughs> we need all the money from your savings. Of course. Be right there. I'll tell you the rest of the tale later. Okay, Happy? Um, sure. I guess. But seriously, watch yourself, okay? I don't want you to learn I'm right the hard way. See ya, Freckles. I can hardly wait to hear that riveting story of yours. Using me? I never thought about it that way. He's such a nice kid, and I killed him the last time. <gasps> and apparently Ash likes it, or apparently Yuri likes him. But that is strange, they don't have a support conversation. No. I'm sure he mentions it in the side story. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he talks, he talks up to Ash in that side story. Are there any foods you particularly dislike, Happy? Anything in today's meal, for instance? Nope. But also, none of your business. <laughs> what? Linhart's such a weird person. Like, he acts so distant, but then, like, randomly, he'll just be, like, so into somebody. The, the, the Nintendo just knows how to make the most blank Avatar characters. <laughs> There's just nothing getting around it. It's just... <laughs> Look at that. That's intimidating. It's like, what? You can't. You can't get a grasp on how, like, he's acting or how he's feeling. Is he, does he want to kill you? Does he want to ask you out? Does he, he just, you don't know. It's so interesting and mysterious. It's Mercedes. Good evening, Professor. Returning from work, I take it? Who's asking? I commend you for working so late into the evening. All of my days at the Academy are enriching thanks to you. Try not to overtax yourself, all right? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. The Goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. To be perfectly honest, in your very delicate I had my voice, doubts when I first met you, <laughs> I don't want you to think less of me for saying this. No, that's honesty. Tell it to At me straight. First, I thought Give you it to too me. Young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. Yet you seemed very composed and mature despite your age. It's a, I had stapled my face. It's, it's gonna look like this forever. You're strong willed, encouraging. And you go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is cared for. But it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. It's the staples on my face. If that's how you feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. The mind has a tendency to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. True. In my case, I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. Really? Oh, you know. I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Oh, um... Well... You can imagine how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. Anyway, where was I? Ah, oh, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. She's got a mental that image of her me. training and- Is there anything I can do to assist you, <laughs> Professor? <laughs> like if a bikini. Right you, I'd like to help in any way Why? <laughs> yeah, I appreciate it, whatever. Just say the word. I look forward to 
helping you out. Okay, go away. No, she Mercedes, I think she just didn't wear anything. That shopping trip took longer than expected, didn't it, Mercy? It truly did. You bought just about everything in the place. <laughs> You're so good at deciding the best thing to buy. I sort of wanted it all. I mean, not And there goes possessive. all your money. I think you bought just about as much as I did. Oh, really? The number of bags you're carrying says otherwise. Gotcha, that's, bitch! That's... Oh, fine. Gotcha, bitch! You got me. I was just having too much fun. I love shopping with you, Mercy. It was fun. It's nice going into town without having to run errands for once, isn't it? And I'm pretty confident the professor will forgive our little detour. <laughs> this actually reminds me of going to school in Ferdiad. Me too. Oh, you know what? They're technically talk not talking like about me. Time in our lives was a story from long ago. So much has changed since then. Oh, but there's at least one thing that hasn't changed. Me and you, right? We're the same old friends we always were. That's just what I was about to say. I've known you so long I can always guess. Mercy, we'll stay friends like this forever, won't we? Is something wrong? You sound worried. Since our time in the capital, so much has happened. We've had to make new lives for ourselves, and we've seen at least as many hard times as good. If things keep changing like this, I wonder if we'll be able to stay the same people we are now. I wonder that too. I don't think everything in the future will be perfect, but it's us. So I'm sure we'll figure it out together, right? How did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> oh, Mercy, I can always guess what you're gonna say. Oh, but yeah, enjoy your, enjoy the movie. Right. I do appreciate the lurk and the raid. Saint, the gets Seth, thank you so much. Enjoy the movie. Uh, scary movie two isn't a scary movie though, with Panda. That's that's like a parody movie. You're right. Run, Mercy. What? Wait for me, Annie. Yeah, if you, you need some scary movies, I got, I got, I. I I I got you. Let me let me know if you want a scary freaking movie. Run! Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm only teasing you. I'm only teasing you, Panda. <laughs> but if you do want to get any, let me know. You watch The Conjuring? Oh, that's pretty scary. Uh, let's see. If you need any, I would recommend. Shit. Now that I'm on the spot, let's see if I can remember. Annihilation's a good one. I think it was like a Netflix original movie with uh, a Natalie Portman. Uh, buh, 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 buh. That shit. It, it's a. It's a. It's like a. It's a. What do you call those? Lovecraft. Lovecraftian. I would, if you watch it though, watch it blind because that shit's scary. Uh. Yeah, that shit, that shit, that shit's pretty scary. Uh, look at that, we got it. We got him! Being outside is so tiring. Tomorrow's gotta be just an inside day, Bernie. <laughs> Whoa, why is it so cold all of a sudden? It's right behind it's you! as if an unspeakable evil just... <laughs> You're late. To the light, back to the beyond from whence you came. <laughs> Are you telling me to die? <laughs> the, the, Hubert. In the flesh, I came to ask you something. Oh no! What did I do? Think, Bernie. Think. There have been sightings of a sinister figure carrying a sharp object, wandering the halls at night. Uh, um. <laughs> A strange giggle, the glimmer of a needle in the dark, the sound of a door creaking open and closed. <laughs> uh, I was embroidering. Oh, that's I right. I suspected as much. Then you leave me no choice. Uh, what? No, I'm too young to die. I've got so much left to do. Please don't kill me. About what I expected. <laughs> Wait, he just played. It's no good. I can't run anymore. 
That was quite a sprint. A shame you lack stamina. Now to my duty. You're going to execute me, aren't you? Please, let me compose my last will and testament. Or at least a swan song? The creak of a door. Sorrow like a needle point. Bernie's gone away. Bernadetta? A word of caution. <laughs> How would you feel if you fell or bumped into someone while carrying around that needle? Please watch where you're going in the future. <laughs> How did you manage to faint while standing up? <sighs> well, I cannot simply leave her here. <laughs> she fucking fainted. <laughs> fucking Hubert. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> he's clearly a bad guy, but he's not. Is he? I don't know. That's funny. Oh, Lysithia and Edelgard have conversations. Ah, oh, but I already... Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if they're going to talk about you-know-what. Choir practice ended? It ends when I say it ends, okay? Jeez. Where are the fire? Where's the fire? Why am I running so fast? That's just my normal- that's my normal run. <laughs> Think of- How weird would it be if you just- Somebody with the most blank face is just sprinting at you like at 40 miles per hour. Look at that. Professor, do you have a moment? In the in the, in, in in at night? That depends. Wait, never mind. I take that back. I gotta go. Well, I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? It's fucking 12 a.m. What do you want to learn about this shit now? Well, maybe we can figure it out together. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Yay, I finally get it. You really are a great teacher. I knew asking you was the right idea. <laughs> I just love learning new things. That's why I came to the Officer's Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and, well, all kinds of stuff. I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. It's far, right? Speaking of, I'd better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. That's just not possible. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. Like on my days off, can't I need be a jack of all trades though. The cleaning first, That's... or I just can't relax. Oh, I'm so glad you agree. You'd be surprised how rare it is to find people like us. Not to mention, oh wait, oh no, I was supposed to be on cooking duty today. Oh, I completely forgot. Sorry, professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help. Put this stupid barrel here. Um, <laughs> at least help her up. <laughs> you just witnessed her fall over. <laughs> it's a decent. I will master this. I won't forget all I've learned. How long will this take? One step before the next step. God damn, they learned so much shit. It's Edelgard's birthday. Thank you. 
Mm -mm. Wait, her birthday's on the 27th. Pretty sure that's my cousin's birthday. I'm pretty sure she's the 22nd. June 22nd, yeah. Ha! Huh, funny. Funny how that's a thing. There's no point in battle. I don't think I'm gonna need to battle. I'm just gonna go straight into the next fight. Jesus Christ. They really give you so much leeway between chapters. Certifications. Oh, I could change them. So it does stay in the same, okay. I thought every time they change classes that they it automatically changes to their class. What would he look like? I mean it's better than it's actually not bad, honestly. I don't like the baggy pants. Oh, I gotta put the glasses back on. Oh yeah. Best professor. <laughs> I can actually battle like this. <laughs> I'd rather not. Oh, I love this meat. They're, How did you know? They're twins. Eating delicious food really takes my worries away. Damn. No support. It's a shame. So I got it, duh. Uh, Life is a series of peaks and valleys. Our reunion is, to my mind, the highest of peaks. Spoken like one who's never known the lowest of valleys. To think, we were once a pair of blooms. Flourishing side by side in the upper echelons of Enbar society. Despite our differing aspirations, I think together we could have taken the mantle of leading the Empire. Tread carefully, Ferdinand. Some part of me clung to hope that you might emerge from the wreckage. I am glad you have. I know that was a difficult time for you. 
So you surmised that the single most humiliating event of my life was difficult, did you? It is becoming clear to me that this conversation is a waste of my time. Oh, that was rather brusque. Well, pardon me if I seem unmannerly in the face of a reminder of all I have lost. My family, my home, my friends, my people, everything. I am all that remains. I... I... I did not intend to offend you, Constance. He's not much of a peaceful people purpose. People How person. like the noblest of nobles to be unaware of the suffering one causes. You can't grasp what it is to be a newly minted peasant, can you? <laughs> that is simply not true. I care about you, and I was attempting to offer some words of comfort. Enough. I need more than words, more than you have offered to provide. Exactly. She wants me, you know, I'm joking. My spirit is no less noble. It will not do for you to condescend to me in my houseless state. You have my sincerest apologies. That was a grave misstep. I did not mean to come across as condescending. I was merely being careless with my words. As you say, I have never experienced loss at such a staggering magnitude. Stop bringing it up! I cannot imagine the pain you have endured. Oh my god, stop bringing Indeed, it up! you cannot. I advise against trying. The more you harp on it, the more irritated with you I become. Never shall a day pass that I don't work toward restoring my house and reclaiming my title. You, on the other hand, seem content to remind me that it is lost. Thank you, but I had not forgotten. Constance, please. I see no trace of the boy who made waves with me at balls and embodied the finest in the nobility. Oh, they were together when they this were younger. This newfound arrogance of yours is a discredit to House Iyer. Yikes. And how fitting, how fitting was it that she, that she dealt the final kill, the final kill blow, or just the final blow to kill him off in the la in my last run? Okay. Professor. She like that was a bit of irony. Where the hell is Sylvain? Oh, not with women, I see. Hello. Professor, have you seen Felix around? I swear, as soon as you take your eyes off him, poof, he's gone. Ah, of course he's there. Sorry for bothering you, Professor. Thanks. What's up, Professor? You need something from me? Hey, I got a girl waiting. Well, two. <laughs> they don't know about each other. I mean, can we talk later? Charm and reason? Ah, <laughs> uh, funny, funny, funny. All right, I should be. I'll do like one more choir, and uh, I'm, going, I'm just gonna go to the chapter mat. That chapter battle. You're gonna sing it, Elgar, even if you don't like it. Being a teacher is so much fun. <laughs> just making kid kids the douche. Our do voices shit. are all over the place. <laughs> we must learn to work together in harmony. Singing with others is a nice change of pace. Ah, oh, of course she likes Usually it. Usually I do it when I'm alone. Vegetable stir fry. Delicious. Daphnil soup. I feel like Ingrid would like this. Ah, oh, there it is. I figured. I might try to get these two as well. Recruit these two. Considering I didn't recruit both of these them at all in the last so run. Good. Oh. But not as good as your home. Remember that one guy who came into my chat? Just straight <laughs> up just too kind. Maybe I'll bake some for you next time, Professor. Straight up just like Oh, what did he say? He's just like, did you recruit Annie? You didn't recruit Annie. She's the best. I'm just like, dude, I, I'm trying to recruit people. I'm trying to recruit as many people as I can. Then it just didn't happen. Did she even show up in part two? I don't think she did. She didn't appear in part two at all. That's weird. Yeah, some some sometimes some characters you won't see all of them. Oh, I might I might I might recruit Marianne though. Oh. 
she doesn't show up at all if you don't recruit her. That shit kills me. That's like heavily theorized that she does kill herself. I might just have to recruit her. Just to save herself. But is that for me to decide? Are there any foods you particularly dislike, Happy? Anything in today's meal, for instance? Linhart. Nope. But also, none of your business. <laughs> Linhart, stop it. <laughs> Leave her alone. <gasps> Hubert and Petra? I feel like Petra would not be phased by Hubert. Petra? Industrious as ever, I see. Hello, Hubert. Yes, I am trying to be industrious. I must be working hard to improve my position. Right now, it is not a good one. Even accounting for that, your efforts are impressive. I wish a little of you would rub off on certain people here. One troublesome slouch in particular. Rub? I will not be rubbing on any- <laughs> Oh, she's such a foreigner, I love it. <laughs> not literally. I never would have imagined you would adjust so well to life in Fodlan. When I first met you, you couldn't understand a single word of the language. You had the look of a cornered animal. So much so, I thought you'd grown up in the wild. I had more youth then, and the experience was uh, terrifying. My grandfather ordered me to go to Fodlan with suddenness. So technically, Bridget has, or no, Black Eagles has a Bridget princess and the soon-to-be throne of the whole empire. Jesus Christ, compared to the other- compared to fucking Golden Deer? I was stolen to a strange land filled with strange people. The treatment I was receiving was like- like I was a strange beast. It is unfortunate, but while you were called our guest, you were actually a hostage. You were meant to be insurance that Brigid would not restore its alliance with Dagda and attack us. The Empire required leverage, and after all, you are the Princess of Brigid. It gave me sadness to leave my home, but I am not unhappy that I came to the Empire. I have learned much understanding from the outside world. My experience has made me become who I am, and meeting you and Lady Edelgard has had great value for me. I admire your spirit in the face of adversity. You set a strong example to follow. Wow, this is the first nice thing he said to somebody other than Edelgard. Adversity to come. And then he ruins it with that foreshadowing. Stupid rain. Go back to the stupid cloud you came from. I'm soaked. <laughs> what a pain. Happy? Yikes. You look like you just crawled out of a lake. Here, dry yourself <laughs> off. And don't just stand there. You'll catch a cold. Come on. I'll make you some tea. Oh, um... Okay. Huh. It's been ages since I had a nice cup of tea during a rainstorm. Pretty nice, eh? I don't drink tea very often. It is nice. But what does the rain have to do with anything? Doesn't rain make you want to read a book? Or rather, nap with a book on your lap. Though, I guess I'd like that no matter the weather. But then, if the book is too good, not only will I be unable to sleep, my tea would get cold. Interesting. That makes it a wasted effort. Ah, and that's why I don't drink tea when it rains. So Linhard likes right. the rain. Thanks for coming. Oh, yeah, I think I found up. you a friend. And thanks for the cup of tea. Well, I'm pretty much dry now. Gotta say though, I'm kind of confused. Huh? About what? This just seems way out of character for you. You're so focused on yourself, you've barely ever spoken to me before now. No, oh, good point. The thing is, I'm not cut out for battle. If a fight breaks out, I'm only a liability. It's better for everyone if I keep my distance. What does fighting have to do with... Oh, I get it. You think I'm gonna sigh. You're just like the others. But if that's true, why are you acting so different? What do you mean? Use your words to make the things in your head make sense to the rest of us. Fine. Here's what's in my head. I don't understand why you're being nice to me. 
Look around us. Nobody else will even risk coming near me. They're probably afraid you'll sigh, <laughs> since you looked pretty rough when we came in. Makes sense. Then why did Your you help her? These are disastrous. If I can prevent one with a nice, lazy cup of tea, it's the least I can do. I see. You did it for your own sake. Well, whatever your reasons, I'm surprised that you'd even consider doing this for me. Surprised or not, it's no skin off my back. I'll keep doing what I do regardless of anyone's expectations. Think on that. I expected you to be a hazard, but you weren't. No harm, no foul, no need to sigh. If only it were that simple. Yeah, she's cursed. Anytime she uh, does a sigh, a loud sigh, she summons monsters. Huge monsters. It's a thing. Uh, Alright. 